This scene hits different when you actually realize what Ash died for. Like, this is beautiful writing out of nowhere. I wanna be the very best, like no one ever was. To catch them is my real test. Train them is my cause. Woo -woo -woo. Pokemon, the first movie, is actually meaningful. God, let's put on this stupid hat. And no, it's not gonna look like Ash because I'm black. This movie very much surprised me because in no universe was I thinking this movie was actually going to be good. Especially like the first movie, I didn't think it was gonna be good in the slightest. Yeah, sure, as a kid, like, I loved it as a kid, but looking back as an adult, I never thought I'd like it that much, but turns out Pokemon used to be good. And that's so surprising to me. It's both so weird and so frustrating to know these newer movies don't even compare even to the slightest to the first movie because the first movie has so much commentary on life, on war, on like actual social issues. It's like, what? I even ended up crying at the end of this movie and it was like so weird because I was just like, oh, I cried because you know, Ash died and you know, all these Pokemon are crying. But then I realized what Ash died for and wow, this movie is kind of powerful. Although some of the writing is very powerful, something that's not very powerful is the animation. The animation, it doesn't compare to other movies of this time. I'm sorry. For the most part, it kind of feels like the show's animation, which is that sort of like 70s, 80s, 90s anime animation to where like, it's, it's very cheap. It's not very crazy. It's just basic for the most part. It still is hand-drawn, so there is a level of respect I have for that, but at the end of the day, it's like there's a lot of static imagery and it's not, it's just not that crazy, man. I actually do applaud them though for adding a little bit of 3D animation in it, blending the two mediums, and it's 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 almost not noticeable. Like I had to look for a second and be like, wow, that's very different. And then I had to do like a double take, like, uh, it, it's blended very well. It will not be long before my master's intentions are clear. Wolfie? If you couldn't tell, the opening and closing of the doors 100% looks like 3D. There's also a very good portion of like sort of dynamic shots in here. Like they do like this little 360, almost like it's like 360 or 180 sort of camera pan around these two characters, Brock and someone else. And I gotta say, I was not expecting that for the most part. But that's where the compliments for this movie and the animation side of things kind of end for me. I don't really see too much else. One thing I definitely see and recognize is the score. The score is just immaculate. It is so beautiful and well orchestrated. And the best parts of the score, in my opinion, is when Mew gets on screen. Like when Mew gets on screen, it, it gets so beautiful. Mew's parts are absolutely fantastic and just whimsical, but majority of the score overall, it's just beautiful. It's like this, like, even the very, like, serious moments when Ash is trying to fight Mewtwo, like, it, it just feels so epic. Speaking on Ash versus Mewtwo, the soundtrack is amazing they don't use too many songs they like they jack load a lot of songs at the end credits which is very interesting but like at the same time super iconic because i used to play this movie as a kid and i remember almost each and every song even though it's like 30 seconds of a song i remember each and every song that played during the end credits as for the movie we get an excellent Probably the best remix ever created for the Pokemon theme song. Like, I want to be the very best. Holy lord, that they should have kept that in the show because god damn.
Admittedly, the vocals aren't that crazy, but it's more so the vibe that this brings. It's it's so fun. And of course, we can't forget brother, my brother. <laughs> These songs are kind of mid to bad by themselves, but it's the movie that really uses it very well. Like, the singer isn't very much the best singer, but it's used in a very serious and a very good moment that really brings it more, it elevates the sound. That song just encapsulates more of what we need in society today, a little bit of compassion. Although we don't need to like, forget this war or like forget wars ever existed like that's very good knowledge to have in order to like prevent future wars but you know the rest of the song very good <laughs> brother my brother tell me what are we fighting for isn't life for so much more to love one another oh can we just pretend that this will never begin. If I had a nickel for every time I got a lyric wrong. Now talking on this story. This story is about Ash, a Pokemon trainer we all know and love alongside Pikachu, being invited to an, a private island in order to have a battle with a master trainer. But on this private island, he finds out he's not facing a trainer. He's actually facing a legendary Pokemon, Mewtwo, who got cloned from Mew, another legendary Pokemon. Mewtwo is planning on destroying all of humanity and all of Pokemon with this giant storm he has created and he's gonna salvage um, himself and the Pokemon clones and it's up to Ash in order to stop him. That's the story for the most part. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Majority of the writing in this movie is complete ass. Like you will hate the dialogue. They do a lot of like the old anime stuff to where like someone says like, oh my God, is that a jacket? And then someone will be like, jacket, jacket, jacket. It's, it, it's, it's bad, it's bad. <laughs> also, there's a lot of jokes and puns in this movie, which are just, absolutely abysmal and i didn't laugh at it in the slightest like it, it, it's very dated comedy Stroke. 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 Oh, i think i'm gonna have one Stroke. i didn't know vikings still existed they mostly live in minnesota this is so stupid this is the only thing i laughed at because it's so stupid it's my type of comedy like i would say something stupid like this oh my fucking god but if you can get past all of the dumb shit i know there's a lot there's actually beautiful lines of dialogue that mewtwo ash and like some other characters meowth say in this movie it's very excellently written which is Weird. I see now that the circumstances of one's birth are irrelevant. It is what you do with the gift of life that determines who you are. This is genuinely such an amazing quote that gets stronger as time passes and humans progress. This is crazy. I am extremely shocked how they added very insightful and almost deep commentary to like a lot of issues like being born and not being appreciated and so just figuring out how to live your life or like what what you are they also add some very interesting commentary on differences like although it's sort of basic like uh, some people just still don't understand to this day that like it's okay to be different from somebody else We shouldn't be worried about the differences. We should be more appreciative of why we are different and celebrate why someone else is different and treat them just with basic human decency yeah it kind of does the basic thing of like oh we are all the same you know because we are humans or blah blah well they're animals but you know what I'm saying but like I think there's a way to interpret it correctly and say, well, not correctly, but like in a better sort of sense to where like they recognize each other's differences and they appreciate that and it's not a big issue. It also does some pretty good commentary on war, like saying how two big representatives are kind of fucking it up for everyone else. Not to say that like Mew or even Mewtwo are bad people. They are just... Mewtwo especially, Mewtwo is just 
confused. They didn't ask to be brought into this world. They just got used and abused by humans. There's actually like a little bit of a animal testing commentary in there, which I, I sort of appreciate better than plague dogs. I'm just saying. But yeah, humans were testing on them and basically making Mewtwo do whatever the fuck he, they wanted. And so I, it makes a lot of sense that Mewtwo doesn't like humans and he also doesn't like Pokemon because he's not a Pokemon. He's cloned from a Pokemon. He doesn't see himself as a Pokemon. Ash dying wasn't emotional because he died. Like, sure, there is a part of it to where, like, yeah, he's a little kid and he shouldn't have died. There is a part that's emotional there. But, like, it's more so what he died for. He died to try and stop a war in order to try and have his Pokemon and the Pokemon around him just come to a standstill. Like it's actually extremely powerful he knew that if he didn't do anything these pokemon are just gonna keep fighting to the death and so instead of them dying he decided to sacrifice himself in order to showcase what is actually going on and pull at both of the pokemon's heartstrings given the beginning of this movie i was not actually expecting ash's death to be that powerful or them to have like very well-written dialogue in this movie but it turns out they did and wow this this movie really is good for the last leg of this movie being so emotionally mature i believe i'm going to give this movie a seven yes it is very dated yes the animation isn't like too different from the show it's not very polished it doesn't seem like it belongs on the big screens but I believe this movie is just fun overall, and it actually has some very emotional moments in there. And that's a lot, that's a lot better than I can say for a majority of the other Pokemon movies. Pokemon, the first movie, actually puts to shame majority of the franchise, including the games. I'm not even gonna lie. But that's all I have to say. Anyway, how's it going, pups? It's a K9, and I'm 